My name is Father Kurt Dink. I'm a Jesuit of the Maryland province, and I've been a Jesuit since 1996. I did not have a particularly religious upbringing. Uh, I grew up in the 70s and the 80s, and my parents uh, both had been raised Catholics, but we weren't particularly practicing when I was growing up. Uh, but I would say I, I always was uh, something of a religious kid, even if I didn't have a, a formal context uh, always to sort of direct that energy. I would say I thought about a religious vocation very briefly, probably for about 12 seconds, once in high school. And again, when I was in high school, I was going through an RCIA process. So you know, my, my mind and my spirit were sort of open to those sorts of questions. In college, I went to Georgetown, a Jesuit university. And in my first year there, I can remember uh, meeting some of the Jesuits who were you know, on faculty or celebrated mass and, and really being moved by their own commitment. Um, I didn't really think of it so much as, as a possibility for myself. Uh, there was one retreat that I went on as a freshman where I did think about it because a Jesuit gave his own vocation story and I found it to be very, very compelling. But I really did not entertain it seriously for, for more than the first half uh, of my time in college. And then it was in my junior year uh, that I went on a five-day silent Ignatian retreat and it was coming out of that experience uh, that it really came to the surface. I joined the society when I was 22, so I was right out of uh, college. Uh, so I was pretty young and I can remember actually the, uh, the assistant novice director who himself had entered right out of high school uh, saying at one point when I was sort of wrestling, you know, did I enter too young and should I have waited more and had a job and a career and all that. He said, it's not a bad thing to grow up in the society. Uh, and I have found that to be true. I got very mixed reactions, I would say, uh, from family and friends when I first talked about a, a Jesuit vocation. In all honesty, my family initially was, was not supportive. Uh, because again, we had not had a, a particularly religious upbringing. Uh, but I think a lot of that was uh, my, my family not really knowing much about the society, about its mission. Uh, and once they began to meet actual Jesuits and see the kind of work uh, that Jesuit priests do in a whole variety of ministries, uh, they became very supportive. Uh, and, and right now, I, and for many years, I've been very blessed uh, to enjoy the support of my family. But it, it's not untypical, I think, for people when they're first considering a vocation, uh, you know, to, to face a little bit of opposition in, in families, especially because of the kind of culture uh, that we live in nowadays. But once, uh, once a good and loving family sees that you're happy and sees that it really is a vocation from God, uh, they come around. And that was the case in my own family, and, and in many respects it, it brought uh, some members of my family back to, uh, to a more re regular religious practice. And in terms of my friends, you know, how did my friends react to my thinking about a vocation? Uh, that too really depended on what their own sense of religiosity was what their sense of uh, the Jesuits was. You know, I was at a Jesuit institution at the time, so most of my friends knew who Jesuits were, and they were kind of surprised, maybe, um, that someone would make this kind of a choice. But a lot of them, and this was the case for family, too, once we talked through it and I talked about what was appealing to me, a lot of people said, when I really think about you and what I know you're committed to, it makes sense. I'm Father Kurt Dink, and this is my calling.